I am going on a kite surfing trip. <laughs> I've waited for this moment for five years and it's finally come true. There's the bus. Let's go. I'm staying in this side and then I have a roomie on that side um, ding! here are my stuff today we spent it mostly just socializing with the other campers and um, getting to know each other talk a little bit about our expectations eat some food then watch some instructors surf kite surf and that was really it made me look forward to tomorrow when we get started but it's gonna be a long day so i have to sleep and re-energize for tomorrow good night good morning uh, today is gonna be a very long day we're gonna start the day by 7 30 a.m and we're gonna kite um we're gonna start by breakfast of course and maybe some theory afterwards and i don't know what we're gonna do actually but we're gonna serve a lot of hours i don't know how much i'm gonna film but I'm gonna do my best to document but excited now we have spent almost six hours outside five hours ish um trying to kite surf in the beginning the first hours it went well or not for me the wind was okay but it was very scary and i couldn't get a grip on how to move the kite and not get dragged away with it um but yeah it was something oh, there are a lot of insects here let me move um that was something that i struggled a bit and now the second time around after lunch we tried to surf again but the wind died so it didn't go well well at all and now we're gonna wait um go sit in the sauna and just wait for the wind to get stronger but it has been scary and interesting and I've heard that you have to respect the kite more than be afraid of it so that's a learning process time to check out and then go to the beach the last day here and the wind 
is gone <laughs> it, there is no wind today so probably we won't be going out to kite surf which is a little sad because I haven't had the chance to stand on the board um, but I've learned or I think I've learned at least um, theoretically at least um, how to hold the kite move the kite um, to something called body drag where you move the kite in an eight motion um, and just drift along with it in the water which is very scary at first because it feels like because you don't have any control at all over yourself because you're just relying on wind and ocean um, and of course wind and ocean are far more powerful than a human ever can be so um, it was a little terrifying to just lose that control in a sense or at least as a beginner I felt that I had no control I was spinning instead of drifting along <laughs> and that's no good um, but in the end I've learned to just go with it to control and feel out the wind I don't know if it's still there today <laughs> but that's what happened yesterday um, but this this camp has been very fun and um, yesterday was very fun but exhausting so I'm very tired today now I'm on my way back we said goodbye um, one thing I wanted to say that I noticed is that kite surfers they have a kind of beautiful way to look at life <laughs> um, because oh I think I forgot something Oh well, no worries, it doesn't matter. One thing that they, they're about their mentality is because you need the wind and the bad weather for a good kite surfing session, they kind of see it as a positive thing that a day of a weather is bad. Um, normally you see it in the bad negative way and you try to avoid it but then the kites at first they see it as the most positive thing because that's what they want and then on the sunny days they enjoy it so that's a beautiful mentality thank you for tagging along and see you in the next one